1969, three very brave astronauts climbed into a relatively tiny spaceship called the Apollo 11 and launched into history. Those astronauts, upon achieving orbit around the moon, had the Earth on the edge of its seat. Shortly after achieving orbit, two of those astronauts descended to the surface of the moon, and the whole world stood in breathless awe as they watched the first human ever to walk on the surface of the moon. Or did they? Since the 1969 Apollo 11 mission, there have been many documentaries produced purporting to show evidence that indicates the moon landing was a hoax. Now, I have contended that the moon landing actually took place. And one of the pillars of evidence that I've used for that has been the moon rocks. I have said repeatedly that over a hundred scientists around the world were sent samples of the moon rocks and none of them has stepped forward to say this is a fake. Well all of that has changed. Shortly after the 1969 Apollo moon mission those three astronauts went on a goodwill tour around the world and during that tour they met with the Prime Minister of the Netherlands Willem Dries they presented him with a moon rock which he kept in his private collection however upon his death the moon rock passed into the possession of the Amsterdam Museum NASA confirmed for them that it was a real moon rock via a telephone call however the experts at the museum did tests on the moon rock and they determined it's not a moon rock at all it's nothing but petrified wood now this leaves us with only really about three viable possibilities one the entire Apollo 11 moon landing was a hoax two the moon landing was real and there's petrified wood on the surface of the moon three the moon landing was real but someone absconded with the real moon rock and replaced it with a petrified chunk. Well, of course, if that last one is what happened, the three first suspects become the astronauts. Who among them would have done it? I don't know which conclusion is correct. I just present the facts. You decide.